Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Saviro, and I have the pleasure today on iHeartRadio to have over the phone one of the most celebrated singer in France. And guess what? She is from the U.S. That's probably why everybody loves her. Uh, she is the number one singer in the world, if you ask me. Uh, I had the pleasure <laughs> of performing with her a couple of years ago, and I owe so much to this woman. Just so you know, to give you an idea, that woman has recorded 28 albums. She has sold more than 30 million album. I don't even think I sold more than 30 albums. You know, 29 were purchased <laughs> by me, as a matter of fact. So 30 million of albums. Of course, I'm talking about the phenomenal superstar singer, my favorite, Gene Manson. Gene, how are you today? Hi, David. Like how you, David Ferrero. How are you, mi amor? <laughs> How are you, darling? How is everything? I'm so happy to hear you, and I'm so happy to be in New York with you. It, it's, listen, this is your home. This is your show. Like, for you, you know, I give the keys. I give my credit card, my wallet. Take whatever you want. Take <laughs> the keys of my home. It all and your pigeons you. from Israel. Anything and your blue you pigeons want, from you tell Israel. Me it's yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you have no idea, my dear. How much And if I may you, say something about you, yes, because um, I, I'm, I'm living in Spain right now, but I, I, I met David in Paris, and um, I, I was able to do The Man of La Mancha uh, with Jean Pia and Richard Taxi in, in Paris for a year and a half. We did this mu fantastic musical show in French by Jacques Brel, and David, 20 years later, came and called me and said, would you like to do Man of La Mancha again? But you do it in English, the words, and in French, the, the language. <laughs> and he I know. Uh, put this whole show together. He did it. Uh, I'm talking to all the people who are listening, li listening to us now in New York about you. And he put this all together with a smaller group of people. It was a wonderful, fantastic show, um, and he's just such a great showman. He he, oh, he knows how to make God. people laugh. He knows how to pe make people cry. He has a beautiful voice, and and it was such a pleasure to work with him and to relive a dream. Oh, that I had my been love, you're the greatest in France. You're the greatest. <laughs> so, you know, every, David, every thank time. you. And it's a pleasure to be with you. Oh, my love, it, everything belongs to you. You know. You know, every time people still ask me, but why you did the libretto uh, in, in French, which I adapted, and why I keep the song in, in English, is that uh, first I come from the opera world, where uh, this is something that people do uh, very often, like for the Mozart opera, they keep the song in German, and they do the libretto in, in French or in English, you know, or in the operetta, uh, they, they do that very often. But also, it was also a question, some, a lot of people didn't know that, but it was the question of royalties. Because, Absolutely. Uh, I, uh, yeah, not because I couldn't do the show in English in Europe because the, the, the rights were booked by um, a big theater group in the UK, you know, and I couldn't do it 100% in French because the rights were booked by an opera in France who booked it for all friends. <laughs> you know, so they're but, so complicated, and it no, still no, but is. The owner, the, the owner of of the rights, they want gave you the right. It, you know, so so they yes. said. So this is what they said. They they give me the both contracts and say try to see if you can find around uh, your way around it. So I had this idea, which changed also the way we we doing contracts of licensing in New York from that because it was written cannot be performed in English, cannot be performed in French. So I said, okay, I'm going to create a new language called the hybrid language. So it's not French, <laughs> it's not English, and I was able uh, uh, to get it produced that way. But uh, So now, to this day on Broadway, that they cannot be performed in English or any other hybrid <laughs> language. <laughs> From yeah. that. So, okay. no. I want to talk, I, I want to, um, you know, you have this phenomenal career, 
everybody loves you, everybody adores you. Uh, we're going to play massively a lot of tracks from this amazing new album of yours called Latina Sensación. So you always have, you always been some sort of a, um, of riding horses between different cultures. You grew up in that pure, beautiful American culture. You came to France. You embraced literally the school of the French chanson, which you made it your own stuff. And after fell in love with the Latina culture, how does it work? How do you navigate between all these cultures? Well, first of all, I grew up in Mexico. You may not know that, but I grew up in Mexico oh, for know. many years. I lived there, and my mother was a great singer. She sang with Louis Prima. Um, she was she came from uh, Pennsylvania, from Yonkers, New York, uh, and uh, she was with a USO tour in in in, in, in during the war. And she met my father there, who, <laughs> who and then they married, and we went to Mexico and. Uh, uh, I grew up there, and so I grew up with all of the rancheras y toda esta música española. And then I came to California, went to Hollywood, and went to California. And at 24, I left Hollywood after doing about three or four films with Roger Corman and, and company. And, and I went to Italy with uh, sent by Dino De Laurentiis, who was a great, um, uh, the, uh, you know, he did. Uh, uh, producer, he did King Kong and a lot of things. So I was an actress in the beginning, and then I ended ended up in France after Italy. I stayed a few months, and and I met Fellini, and it was very difficult for me to speak the languages in Italian and everything. So I got a job in France as a as a model, and uh, as I was a play ba- play playmate, 1974 August. Okay, and I left the same year, 24 years old. Then I went to France, and and I I got a record contract 15 days after I got to France, and so that all all of that helped me. All my dreams came alive in France, as the Man of La Mancha did, and that was wonderful. I was able to do Broadway in France, and I was doing many commercials, not commercials, but TV shows, and. Yeah, my songs became a hit, and my voice became a hit, I guess, and my blonde hair from California. <laughs> but my love for Mexican and Spanish music, I was able to sing with a, did an album with Mariachi Mezcal in Paris, who came from Mexico, and we toured for 10 years in France with, with Mariachi music, and then I moved to Spain from France eight years ago, and for four or five years now, four years, I've been working with Spanish people, and Flamenco y todo lo que me encanta, lo que es Latino. And I feel like I'm back at my youth in, 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 in Mexico. And so it's it's been a wonderful career, absolutely. And today as we have this COVID and all of these insecurities and we don't know where we're going tomorrow as artists, that is for sure. We have to reinvent ourselves. So here we are. I am in New York and I'm so no. happy to be there. And I, but, I just miss home. I'm an American, uh, born, but uh, I lived in, I was born in Ohio and Cleveland. And I'm, I have family in New York. And if they hear your show, and I, I'd be so proud to see my cousins and everybody. So, voila. My dream and, is and to come back so, home and, and work with you. <laughs> oh, anytime, my love. But it's so beautiful, and you know, I use the, the the expression like you've been arriving from different culture. But um, you know, unconsciously, I I use the word riding. But uh, horses and riding had also always a very uh, important yes, part. Yes, a of very your life. important Can part. Can you tell us about well, it? Well, it's because I always loved Western music, Western uh, Western movies, and horses in Mexico. They had the most beautiful horses and. I have beautiful horses, and I still uh, like love to ride and uh, do a lot of horse shows and singing on a horse. <laughs> um, it's you know you have to have different passions in life, and yes, life is like a horse. You know, you get up and you get down, you fall and you break a leg, and then you get back up again. <laughs> exactly, that, that that's such a good way to uh, to put it. So to get back to this album, how did you? Uh, selected this beautiful variety of, of, of style and, and the minute the song the, the album starts to play it, it's not an album 
uh, that, you know, you can just listen to a track and, and go to another track. It, it's an album you cannot press stop on it. Like, you have to play it uh, in the summer. I want everyone who is listening to this show to purchase that album, to stream that album, to share that album all over the place. I can guarantee you when you hear that album, is the summer all year long. So my, my question to you, where did you find and what inspired you to create uh, all these beautiful playlists? Well, first of all, as I spoke before, my, mom, my mother uh, was a singer, and she, she did a great song called uh, Cuando Vuelvo a Tu Lado and, um, in Mexico, and, and she sang for RCA. She did a 45 for RCA. And so I kind of wanted to, she left us from this world the last year, um, and she left behind her many, many great memories, and she's always been my inspiration for music, and I learned piano and guitar from her, so um, I, I wanted to dedicate this album uh, to her. So I started off with one of these songs from Mexico in the 1960s. It's called uh, Cuando Vuelvo a Tu Lado, No Me Digas Tu Beso. <laughs> I don't remember the words right now, but um, it's, it's a great song. And so I started the album like that, and then. Um, I, with my musicians, with my two guitarists, Claudio Pot and Francisco Gillo, uh, with whom the great, great guitarists, they play flamenco. I listen to many uh, Italian songs, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Spanish songs. Uh, I, I chose lots of songs from Mexico, as a matter of fact, because I think that Mexico has such great um, melodies. And uh, there, there's, a, you know, uh, you're giving me a call, I'm at all. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> no, but, they, <laughs> but, but you know, you, uh, you, you really find yourself really, uh, of course, on all your albums, but this one is, I, I can feel, yes, it's I mean, quite it, particularly. it goes. That, that's really beautiful. And again, this album comes really at the perfect time because you're bringing so much to this repertoire in all your experience, all your uh, all that you have learned. I, I must say that there are no more singers such as yourself, like singers who really learn their craft, who learn how to sing from small audience to perform on television and all this live stuff, you know. Um, you, how do you, you see the new, uh, I would say, the, the, the new generation of uh, a uh, young teenager going on uh, on the job versus to how you and I have, I would mm -hmm. say, uh, um, lived uh, la variété française, you know, the, the music, uh, the variety of music as it used to be in its golden age. Well, I can just say one thing. You have to live, do it, and learn <laughs> because yeah. that's what gives you your wisdom. And at the end, maybe the wisdom is not going to be the same as they think that the wisdom should be because they're younger and they haven't lived it. But you can just, I think, all you have to do is think to do the best you can in your life. And and the rest is not really in your hands. It's, the rest is uh, it's because you're supposed to and your destiny is supposed to be that way. And, uh, and if you're spiritually thoughtful, or you, you know, it's, just because you have a mission uh, to give. So that's where I think that uh, my uh, my uh, my strength comes from, anyway. Uh, but the younger generation today has to live. They have to learn. They have to question. They have to go up. They have to go down. They, you know, music is not... Uh, uh, it's for me. It's you have to start all over every single day, practically, um, and and to get recognition is a very important thing for artists. Uh, otherwise, they give up. So they don't have motivation by the recognition that others are are saying to them, and they have to also understand that if it's not good, they can, you know, go on to something else. They have to. Yeah. But if you think you're good enough to go ahead, then you continue. <laughs> Sometimes you have doubts. Yeah. That's for sure. But, and you so, have ups and downs. But there's always people like you, David, 
who all oh, of a sudden come man. out from, from, from nowhere like an angel, and you come over and you say, do you <laughs> want to do this? Do you have this great idea, and, and you have such creativity that we'll go along with you, and that's what we search for, or I do. Oh, <laughs> but what, what you don't know, what you don't know, is that you are my angel, and you are <laughs> the one who is inspiring everyone to build great projects with you, you know. Um, so before we start to, to say goodbye to each other and before we will massively play, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of music uh, from your new album, this is Jean Manson uh, over the phone for her great album, Latina Sensation, which you can purchase everywhere. And her website is Jean Manson, Jean is J E A. N E Manson N A N S O N dot com. Um, I would love to know what are your next projects. Oh, my next project is the one that I want to do in New York. <laughs> I am sure. I want to I'm, sing in Carnegie Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sing in Carnegie Hall. And um, I want to and I want to sing with you and I want to do uh, a, a song that I did on my new album from uh, Astor Piazzolla from Argentina, who is uh, one of the greatest bandoneonist players and composers for many years. And he left behind him the opera Maria de Buenos Aires. And I want to do that ballet opera so much. But that's probably one of my biggest dreams today. <laughs> Well, 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 we are going to. So to maybe make we that can happen. do it together. I hope. <laughs> oh, I, listen! I would love anything with you, even, even just you know to you, you can carry me as if I was a little chihuahua with you. You know, I would love to be Shalom. even Let's your uh, an accessory <laughs> for you. You know, anything. You, I, I can play a chair on stage, and I can play a table. Anything you give me to okay. play, I'd be happy with you. Um, I was so, full of the sister and the mother who left me there, naked and cold and hungry to cry. <laughs> wow. People, the dream, the impossible, sing it with me. Uh, the dream, the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe. To bear with unbearable sorrow, to wow. run where the dear brave do not go. go wow, ahead. ladies and gentlemen. And you? Manson <laughs> is over the phone. So last question before we go. And as always, I tricked you. I told you it's only 10 minutes, but we're already nearly 20 minutes. So... Um, <laughs> It, How can you go through a whole about. life? I'm almost at 69. How no. I my life. <laughs> I, you know, well, that actually leads perfectly to my last question before we say goodbye to each other. What would you like to do when you grow up? First of all, I want to <laughs> So that was, for the people who don't know, uh, that was the biggest hit. Of of Jean in France and in that song went it is so strong that it's part of the French culture. Like everyone in France know that song, and it's like you know Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. It's a song you cannot touch. Like it's nobody. I mean, everybody can sing it, but no one will be able. It's like Gloria Gaynor that I interviewed a long time ago. Without will survive. Uh, you cannot touch this. You can sing it at the well, wedding. Well, my daughter like that. did it in English. Do you know, David Shirel, who is my daughter, oh, wow. is a fantastic singer in Israel she is, she is. and also in France. You know, she lives in Israel. My two daughters live in Israel, and I live in, you know, Spain for the moment. <laughs> and so they, she sang it. She just did it in English, and it's great. I recommend it. You just type uh, Shirel. Uh, point uh, com, and or uh, and then she'll, you'll see her on YouTube, Shirelle. Well, we would definitely and she sang the uh, same invite song. everyone to. We would definitely <laughs> invite everyone to 
uh, go to check out uh, Jean's daughter, Shirelle, S-H-I-R-E-L. She's a wonderful, wonderful singer, also a dear friend of mine. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that you've been all waiting for, we're going to play a lot of tracks from the wonderful new album of our dear friend, Jean Minton. The name of the album is called Latina Sensacion. And I invite everyone to go on her website, jeanmenton.com. Check the discography, check the biography, check everything you can, and definitely purchase that new album, Latina Sensation, and follow her on social media. She is absolutely divine. My dear Jean, this is your show. You can come anytime. The keys are yours. Right now, Latina Sensation by Gene Manson. More music to follow up later on iHeartRadio. Stay tuned. Great day today. Fais-moi danser Toute la nuit Fais-moi danser Comme si c'était Pour la vie Fais-moi danser dans tes yeux Fais-moi danser Fais-moi rêver
stupide que le silence ou la mort. Aucun nouveau voyageur n'en remplacera ton corps. Je recherche autour de moi le moindre signe de toi. Une silhouette, un parfum, je sors et je me noie. María de Buenos Aires, de Buenos Aires, María, no ven quién soy yo. María Tango, María de la Raval, María Noche, María Pasión Fatal, María del Amor, de Buenos Aires soy yo. Yo soy María. Si en este barrio la gente pregunta quién soy, pronto, muy bien, lo sabrán las hembras que me envidiarán y cada Soy la más bruja cantando y amando también. Si el bandoneo me provoca, taria tata, le muerdo fuerte la boca, taria tata, con diez espasmos de flor que yo tengo en mi ser. Siempre me digo, ay, dale María, cuando misterio me viene trepando. La voz. Y canto en tango que nadie jamás cantó Y sueño en sueño que nadie jamás soñó Porque el mañana es hoy con el ayer después che.
Día, noche, María, pasión fatal, María del amor de Buenos Aires, soy yo. 